In this video, I create a custom light mount for the Waterbox Peninsula Mini. It holds an AI Prime by Aqua Illumination. If you have not been following along, I just recently set this tank up for my son, and I've got a lot more customizations that are coming, so be sure to like and subscribe. And stay to the end to find out where you can get your hands on one of these custom mounts for yourself. Welcome back to IC Live, my name is Mark. So as I mentioned, this is a continuation video of setting up this build for this Waterbox Peninsula Mini. In the past videos, I created a new stand for it, set it up in my son's room, also 3D printed an Aquascape slash Live Rock combo. And now in this video, I'm moving on to creating that custom light mount for the AI Prime. All right, so here's the current light mount. It is one of the standard ones that comes with the AI Prime. Uh, it is aluminum, it mounts on the back of the tank. It's extremely large, it is adjustable, so it's meant to fit a variety of tanks. It's a solid mount, I've used it on a grip of tanks as well. But for this one, I know I'm gonna use an AI Prime for the, basically the lifetime of this tank, and I want one that fits it perfectly. So my plan is to create a mount that is low profile, that fits actually onto the overflow glass, so not the back of the tank, but the inside of the tank. Now, the reasoning for this is I want to have easy access to the back chambers. So with all of the other light mounts that mount on the back, they actually block your access to that middle chamber if you're fitting something large into it. So enough of me blabbering, let's go ahead and get started with the design. Now, I might have started with the drawing, but in this one, I, I couldn't find it. I'd actually forget what I did. So we're gonna jump straight into Fusion 360. Now this time I'm not gonna bore you with the entire design process, primarily because this actually took me three attempts. So for the first attempt, I had a plan to make a wider base that kind of sat on the outsides of the chamber, of the rear chamber and spread out wide. Once I finished it, I did not like it. So then I moved on to the second crack at it where I made some minor adjustments and I made it one singular piece but once again had some other minor issues and when I went to print this one I actually did not like it so this is the third model and this is the one that we land on this is the actual one that I print and I get on the tank and it looks fantastic now what was super important about this build and this mount is that the AI Prime sits perfectly in the center of the tank. So fortunately, I already had an AI Prime model that I'd made in the past when I made some adjustments and upgrades to a few primes. So I just pulled that model in, I used that as a reference. So one of the other things that is super important about this mount is that I had to take into account the flex. This is going to be printed in plastic, but it is plastic, so it is going to flex. And to account for that flex, I had the AI Prime set to where it's angled four degrees up. So once that plastic is put under tension, it'll bend very so slightly, and then it will allow for about four degrees of flex to sit perfectly flat and level over the tank. All right, it's time to get this seven hour and 16 minute print started. So here is the finished print. So in watching the print time lapse, it looked pretty rough, but that was actually just some supports that didn't quite work or, or were printed in the wrong spot. Uh, for the most part, this print turned out great. It's got some decent layer lines you can see there, and then a little bit of roughness around where these supports were toward the top. Uh, the screw worked out really well. Like now it's time to go ahead and make sure this thing's all ready and get it set up on the tank. So 
So I picked up 5M stainless steel bolt from Ace Hardware to go ahead and secure the light arm to the AI Prime. And here it is. This is the light arm connected to the AI Prime sitting over the Waterbox Peninsula Mini. The light arm turned out great and it is extremely secure. It, is, it fits awesome on this glass and that bolt works very well. Although I do make some improvements to it for the final design. So it's smooth and sleek and it makes this AI Prime kind of sit in the most ideal location for this tank so that there isn't too much light spillover and uh, you notice here's the bolt this is kind of the view with a little bit more light so you can kind of see it a little better oh i need to clean that ai prime i think it was dusty uh, but yeah before i make this thing available i did notice a few improvements that i do make to this so i slim up a few parts um, fatten a few other parts but the most notable design change is that i take the bolt in the back and i really bulk it up so i make it a lot larger with some nice thicker threads so this thing is not going anywhere anytime soon so if you'd like to get your hands on this light arm for the ai prime and waterbox peninsula mini i've made it available on iclive.com i've also got some other links to such as my etsy store in the description so you can go ahead and check it out there if you like i do have a lot more upgrades coming for this tank so if you haven't already please be sure to like and subscribe and i will see you live in the next video